Do you have extra produce laying around? I do, let's see what we can do with it. We had a lot of extra onions and peppers left over from some recipes we made, and I didn't want those to go to waste with the cost of food these days, holy cow. So we're gonna put them in the freeze dryer. Uh, you could put them in a dehydrator or in your oven on a low temperature and let it run for several hours. But basically you're just gonna get these until they're really done and crispy and they can uh, have no moisture left in them, of course. My freeze dryer, dryer ran for a few hours more uh, because I wasn't ready to process yet. So here they are coming out of the freeze dryer. These are just the onions. I sliced them with a mandolin to get them nice and thin. They're nice and crispy and ready to go. We're going to start putting them into the bowl. Now you could put these into a blender and make a pure powder or a food processor, but we're gonna do this to where I don't have to clean up any of that equipment today. <laughs> this little mix and chop from Pampered Chef, fabulous. I highly suggest it. It comes in handy for so many things, but today we're gonna use it to dice up all of the onions. We're just gonna keep chopping until we get to the consistency, you know, the smaller pieces that we want. Um, we'll speed this up. You can hear the crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So satisfying to hear. Up next, the jars. Obviously, process them, make sure they're clean, make sure they're sanitized, make sure they're very, very dry. You don't want any moisture whatsoever in these. We're not gonna be canning, per se. This is gonna be used as storage, but we're not using this as long-term storage, so I don't need to vacuum seal these. But make sure everything's tapped down nice and tight, that way you can fit more in there, less oxygen in there because this is a dehydrated, I mean, um, a freeze dried product. When moisture hits it, when the air hits it, the moisture starts to suck it in like a sponge. So make sure you get it nice and compacted, all the oxygen out. And most importantly, an oxygen absorber. Even though this isn't long-term storage, I still highly suggest using one. Put your lid on it and we're gonna tighten this closed. And of course, even more importantly, marking it. Again, this is short-term storage. I will go through these pretty quickly with all the recipes and cooking, but um, if I were gonna store them long-term, I would vacuum seal them. And next up are the pepper and onion mix. I use this for you know, sloppy joes and chili and all different types of things. So to have these prepped and ready to go is great. Now, I ran these at the same time as the other things as you saw in the video and we're just going to process them in the same manner. I love the freeze dryer liners from Harvest Right. They help these things come off so nicely. I can't even begin to tell you how wonderful they are. But it all came out. Onions are at the bottom of this. Peppers at the bottom of this. We're going to process it just like we did the other onions. So we're going to start chopping here and go to town so we get it the way we want it. I think it looks so pretty, all the colors. And we're just gonna go ahead and put them in the clean process jars and seal them up with the oxygen absorber, label it, and we'll put it in the cabinet as well. Again, I could vacuum seal this if I want to, but we don't need long-term storage. So here they are, peppers and onions, be blessed.